Hi everyone, today it was round two of World Cup. I'll show you a very interesting game between Caruana and Mikhail Mkedlishvili from Georgia. So let's quickly jump in the, into the game. Mikhail was white, he started with d4. Fabi responded with usual knight to f6. And now we have bishop to f4, the London system. d5, Fabi played, knight f3, e6. And of course, this is opening a bishop and preparing uh, to play c5. Now, white goes for his standard setup to put pawns like here in this tri triangle. Here, b uh, bishop d6 can be played. Bishop goes to g3, castle knight b to d2. But Fabi opted for c5s, so uh, pressure in the center. Knight goes to d2 knight c6, c3, and here actually the bishop to d6 is the main move, but Fabi just took a pawn here and crashed a little bit his white center and white strong pawn structure. So pawn e to d4 was played. Now knight to h5. This is all theory, all the main moves actually. Bishop goes to e3. Now again the main move bishop d6, knight e5, knight goes to e6, yes, it was under attack by the queen. Also here, g6 is playable, knight d3, knight g7, g3, b6 and bishop to g2. You can also go for this setup, but now knight to f6 was the um, move that was played, and here Again, very standard in the London, we have to play f4 and solidify this knight here. So white position looks quite nice here. But now just queen to b6, queen d3, and here very interesting move by Fabi, knight to g8. The, uh, the idea is to transfer knight here to h6, bishop goes to d3, so very, again, uh, very a positional game, very interesting, slow maneuvering, slow uh, improvement of the pieces. So here knight lands on h6, and here actually computer suggests just playing g3, which would be the normal move, but white played slight inaccuracy, just taking a queen. Now a b6, g3, f6, very good move, so we want to kick this knight away. Of course, White doesn't want to take like this. So knight goes to f3, back. Now bishop to d7, a3. Yes, trying to closing the position. Castle, long castle by white. And here knight to a5 was played. Here Fabiv has very uh, uh, nice plan to do. He just wants to play this and bring the knight to c4. Knight goes to e1, and actually uh, white is quite cramped here, he cannot do that much. So b5, very good. Knight c2, now, now knight lands here. Of course we cannot play this, because that would hang a3, and this would be a disaster. So this knight is very strong here. Rook h to e1 was played, bishop to e8, so Fabi wants this bishop here maybe some ideas to play e5 and uh, so on. So knight goes here and now very nice move by Fabi, just b6. So actually these double pawns here are so strong controlling everything on the queen, si queen side. Although it looks quite funny here. So bishop goes to g1, uh, bishop f7 as mentioned, very nice maneuver. This bishop will be very uh, maneuvering this game, very strong piece. King b1, rook f to e8 was played. Now knight to uh, c1. Yeah, it lo looks like that uh, white is without idea. He cannot do that much. Here knight to f5 was played. Of course, we cannot take like this, like that. That would be awful. Uh, rook can land here and uh, doubling, and uh, white has a bishop, uh, black has a bishop pair. So bishop to f2 was played. So you see white is only waiting, bishop f8. Now again 
white took anyway took the bishop but that wasn't a good move ef5 knight goes to b3 again yeah what is knight doing here actually nothing maybe trying to go to here g5 was played knight e3 actually this was inaccuracy best would be just to take a rook rook takes rook e1 rook e4 takes d takes d5 bishop d6 knight b2 uh, d4 gf4 knight f5 e3 bishop g1 and bishop goes to g6 and of course black is winning also in this line i think but after knight to e3 fabi finds really beautiful move bishop here and the uh, point of this yeah we attack a rook and the point the bishop will land here and here so as you can see quite beautiful uh, path of the bishop going like this now this and this and uh, yeah very beautiful so here rook to c1 was played actually very funnily enough computer suggested this move rook to d3 but after bishop f3 you know just going into the pin yeah the point is knight to d2 and black has to take rook takes now bishop e4 and now knight to c2 so quite funny but the rook to c1 was played now as i mentioned this bishop is a monster and it will decide the game bishop f3 knight takes on c4 uh, bc4 knight goes to d2 and here yeah the very good move again by fabi doing this bishop to e2 because bishop was under attack but very bad move would be to go here on g4 also this would be quite horrible because just knight takes f4 fg5 fg5 and rook to f1 could be played and white is quite okay here but after b simple bishop to e2 knight f1 yeah we take a pawn gf4 now bishop enters the party so bishop is uh, uh, going for this f4 pawn bishop to g3 now king moves away so rook will have some more open lines knight d2 b5 uh, king goes to a2 h5 knight b1 and now very again very strong move just h4 yes if uh, white takes actually this happened in the game now this pawn is lost rook to c2 and after simple to bishop to d3 uh white resigned let's just see how game could continue yeah let's let's say that white takes the rook rook takes let's say a rook to g2 but now just simple bishop to e4 bishop g3 so yeah we also uh, take this rook bishop e3 he can play even this not even taking here actually uh, funny enough this is this actually is the best move according to computer because after rook to et f4 can be played and this f pawn cannot be stopped and is promoting so very exciting uh, tournament also carson won and uh, tomorrow it's another uh, round uh, with the same players so very ex uh, very exciting and looking forward to seeing that guys thanks for watching this video as always and please like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon in the next video bye